Hi guys. Hi. A dream of mine came true today. Let me explain. Well, about we got the ambient and city noise, but I like it. But about almost three years ago, actually about five years ago, I met a fella online and his name was Joe Dispenza. And he, his, his theories and his message was so different. And it was, and I've said it before, create your own future. People say, I don't know what the future holds. Well, you can know by creating it. What you hold in your head, you hold in your hand. So even before I started, I was a nomad, but I started this YouTube channel. I had that, I started really researching this. And it, it, today I realized that what I had visioned almost three years ago, it just hit me when I woke up. I was like, oh my gosh. So my dream that I visioned came true. I wanted to do an experiment. Well, I have thus expanded on uh, my vision. So, I mean, it's still so much more to come. But what I had originally put in my mind that this is the future I want came true. I know. I've got somebody who I really, really care about and love. And he is my partner and my travel partner my partner in crime, eh? <laughs> no crime. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Not much. <laughs> Not much. Not much anyway. I know. And I wanted to travel with a dog. And I've got Abby. Where's Abby? We got to get her out here. Sometimes she knocks over my, uh, my, uh, tripod. my tripod. Yeah. And I have a successful YouTube channel. And one of the biggest things I realized is that you were in my dream too. You were what I wanted. And you know, I didn't feel good last week and you all were praying for me. How could I not be happy about that? How could I not be excited about that? Thank you, all of you. And you give me such encouragement. Um, yeah, you were in my future too. I, I, uh, I visioned all of this and we get to travel, we get to change scenery. I knew that this is what, this is what I wanted and I, I visioned this. And I woke up this morning and I realized, oh my gosh, that the dream really did come true. There's more to come. But my original dream came true. What do you think of that, buddy boy? I think it's... I don't even think I want to say it's amazing. If yeah. you believe it, yeah, it shouldn't be amazing that it happens. I know. Uh, it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. I kind of did this as sort of an experiment. It's kind of like, well, I'm going to, I want to test this out for myself because I think like Joe Dispenza says, we all kind of know this instinctively and the world kind of already knows this. I mean, it's already been proven, but what the world wants to know now is how to do it. How do I make this happen? And I wanted to do an experiment on my own and I wanted to dream it and I wanted to uh, see it uh, materialize. And the first part of it has definitely materialized because this guy is wonderful to travel with. He really is. I mean, Paul is a, you're a really great guy. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. No, he's wonderful to travel with and Abby's a wonderful um, a companion. And I get to share Abby and I don't have to have fur in my van. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Cause I've thought about getting one of my, I would like to get a, a little dog. I really would. I can't believe she means that, <laughs> but she, she's, 
talking about it and talking about Every it. Every once in a while, I know, I probably won't, but I do see these little, there. I saw a dog the other day that I looked at him and I laughed. I go, I've seen squirrels bigger than that. He started <laughs> laughing. And he goes, yeah, I know. Um, and I said, is it full grown? He goes, oh yeah. I mean, it couldn't be more than that. I've seen squirrels bigger than that. So what do you think? Did, have you created your future? Actually, I'm living my future. I'm living my dreams. I'm happy to say. Yeah. Uh, I'm overjoyed to say. Mm. The life of a nomad I'm learning is, at least for me, it holds so many great things. Uh, it's, it's fantastic. It and, is. You know, it sounds like we're trying to sell the nomad life. We're not trying to sell it for anybody. Yeah. You've got to make that call yourself. Yeah. But for me and for this young lady, uh, yeah. it's where it's at. Yeah. So I'm, I'm loving it. So did you actually, in your mind, did you envision uh, your life right now? Did you vision it? A number of months ago, yes. But I'm sorry to say that I have not done any meditation lately. Uh -huh. uh, and shame on me. But uh, I need to get back into that. Because I did, and it happened, and it's here, and it's fantastic. So yeah. why not do that more often? Why not make that a part of my everyday life? I don't know. I uh, haven't done it, but... Well, you really like the Bob Proctor meditation yeah. on abundance, on... What was it? The abundance? Yeah. Yes. Um, it wasn't that long ago that um, Bob Proctor passed away. Mm -hmm. He's a cool guy. Well, I, I just wanted to share that with you. You all have been so uh, wonderful to Paul and I both. And we've got some good we've got some good ideas coming up. So stay with us, everybody. Also, if you're new to this channel, welcome. Well, one place that you can find a good meditations is Gaia, G-A-I-A. -A. Right. It's an app. You do have to pay monthly for it or yearly, but they do have some good meditations on there. And I've been doing a couple. Sometimes you can just do like meditations for like five minutes, nine minutes at a time. It doesn't have to be an hour long. But I do have some meditations uh, by Joe Dispenza that are almost like 45, 50 minutes long. And some of those are available on YouTube, aren't they? Mm, yeah, but what, because it's really, you have to pay for those meditations. Oh, you do, okay. What they do is they kind of tweak it and make it too fast or it sounds weird. So that, and then what happens is YouTube will accept it. But there's no good. I mean, you don't want something like that. So, but where you can find them is on audible.com. Oh yeah. You get, and they cost, I think they're like $10 for that. Yeah. But yeah. you can play it over and over and right, over. Right, then you own it. I know sometimes people say, well, why would I, maybe on your exercise videos, a really good video you do want to maybe spend just a little bit of money on. You can find things on YouTube, but they're usually pretty substandard. And maybe it's not up your alley and you got to find them where, as if you can go right to the source on somebody that you like. If you want to exercise with me or you want to meditate with Joe Dispenza, um, then yeah, sometimes you do have to spend a little bit for it, but yeah. Um, a dream of mine came true today. I realized that, that one of my dreams has been realized and I move on to another one, uh, just going forward because there's more to this. You can't just, okay, it's my dream and now I'm done. You know, it's like, and even Bob Proctor talked about that, that every day, you can't just sit on your laurels. Every day is a human improvement, an improvement on your personality, an improvement on on oh, your life itself. Oh, your expectations. Right. Your, your dreams, your wants, your needs, yeah. everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And a lot of, and I've, I've been told that, well, Jesus will decide what you want if you're a Christian, for those Christians out there. Jesus will decide. But I do believe that this is all very scriptural too, that you need to ask for, Jesus said, ask. You receive not because you don't, do not ask. 
And then my basic scripture that when I heard Joe Dispenza for the first time, I thought what came up in my mind, a scripture that I had memorized way back is Hebrews 11, one through three. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things unseen. For by it, the elders obtained, obtained a good testimony. By faith, we understand that the world was, was created by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not created by things, so that the things that are, are visible, so that the things which are seen were not created by things which are visible. It was created by the word, and that goes with our minds too. We create things through words. It's true. It's very true. So what I hope for y'all is that you dream big. Decide what you want. And if you need to, if you're Christian or if you're Jewish, wherever you are, go to your Lord and ask him and say, this is what I want. Um, the Christian God and the Judean Judean God, Jehovah, said that ask, believe, and you will receive. It's all just kind of like, it's, you have to figure it out for yourself. And I wanted to figure this out for myself, but I feel like today is a, a, an important day because I feel like I got a good confirmation and for the future. So I know that the future is bright because I put it out there and it's all working for the good. And to see it happening. Yeah. I mean, to have that confirmation is, is pretty exciting. It is. it is. It really is. So put it out there. And I uh, encourage anybody, if you want to listen to Joe Dispenza, I've got like three of his books, audio books. And it's it's the theory has already been proven on the mind and so let me refresh for you who have already listened to this and i've talked about this let me refresh your mind what about the placebo effect that's real that's textbook that they give people it's a big trip oh my they give people in studies medical medicine studies um pharmaceutical studies they give people a placebo and if they believe that that's what they're getting they will start exhibiting those symptoms well think about um, during war oh my gosh it's a big is it that's an old looking semi during war that what they did was I think it was during the Civil War they gave or what war was it I forget I don't know did they have aspirin in the Civil War, I know, I know, it's something I need to look up. But they would give them and tell them that this was morphine or whatever, and they would not feel pain after they got that shot. But it wasn't anything. Pretty wild. It is pretty wild. Another proof is called sports medicine, and at, uh, professional athletes, college athletes that heart, that uh, pull muscles or hurt themselves, what they do is they have them vision themselves doing the exercises and they put those um m m no uh nodes nodes <laughs> i know nodes they put them on the muscle and they they've actually proven that they're actually working their muscle sometimes even better up here because their muscles and that's how they stay in shape when they can't actually exercise they do it up here they they vision themselves yeah and if you hear Dr. Joe Dispenza's testimony, he was in an accident. Um, he was a triathlon, he was a doctor, but he was a triathlon athlete. And at one point he was on the bicycle part of it and a truck hit him and he um, severed, um, he couldn't walk. He severed uh, bones in his spine and in his neck. They wanted to do surgery on him. He decided, it was a hard decision, but he decided 
that he was going to do it on his own. He said it was really hard. I mean, he'd get so frustrated because he was trying to concentrate. He's trying to meditate, but he eventually got it. Look at him. I mean, he's walking. He healed himself up here. He visioned his connections, and the nerves and everything going back together and it fused and it went all back together. I mean, he is a healed man. Afterwards, he went into neuroscience. He does all of this research. He does a lot of it in Australia, I believe, or New Zealand and Australia. Um, he has like research centers there. And uh, he, it's just amazing. So, but you would, I can't tell you everything, but it would, um, it, it'd blow your mind. It would, of, of all the things that they have researched and uh, discovered how powerful the mind is one of my one part of my dream that i visioned in my mind about three years ago was the fact of having friends wherever i went that i could meet up with friends i would have a group of friends that has materialized everywhere i go i mean paul is always with me i mean he's my friend but i've oh, got a little bit of wind hope you don't mind everybody but we're outside and in the elements, and that's the way it goes. Uh, our microphones have a little bit of um, noise reduction, so we'll see how this goes. But everywhere I go now, we've got friends. I've got friends here. We're in the city I'm at, and more are coming to see me and to see Paul. And then we can meet up with them. And, and we came here, and we met up with people that we already knew, and we met new friends. So we just met up with a friend uh, or two yesterday. Yeah, yeah Marco. That. So yeah, that was cool. Right. And then Rhonda's going to be coming in the next day or so. And but it seems like wherever we go now, and it's been going on for about a year now, wherever we go, there's friends around that we know. Mm -hmm. and, and we're just traveling. I mean, how can that be? But this is yeah, it's a great life. And this is what I envision. The life that I wanted yeah. Yeah. yeah and then another aspect too is I always thought you know I love the city but I want the, I want to be able to get out also and that's already happening we're gonna go camping this weekend again and um, we can be in the city and if we want to get out of it we just drive and go and it's a wonderful change of pace you know, mm -hmm. just totally different you know I know we talked about all the regular city noise and what have you yeah well out there I, I remember saying to her on a couple of occasions when we were camping before a couple of weeks ago just listen to how quiet it is I know can you listen to quiet I don't know yeah. <laughs> I don't know but yeah uh, so the premise of this video is a dream of mine came true today. I realized that. And so there's really, if I was going to promote anything, it would be, here comes a big truck. I promote that truck to go. Let's go. <laughs> City life. I would promote the idea and the fact that you can predict your own future by creating it. Vision what you want. Put it out there and watch it come true. Do you remember, because I still do this, do you remember it's called the Nomad Vision Board? I had the index cards. Mm -hmm. Did any of you do those? Are you still doing them? I'm still doing them. Not every day, but I go in cycles. I do it like for like two weeks at a time and then oops, and I kind of like, oh, I got to get out of my van. I like to do it in the morning, but maybe you should, you could make your cards too. I uh, sure. I know, you could do, I mean, and I've got some cards, you can do that. So, create your future, everybody. Well, some of the perks of my dream and I, yours too, is the fact that we don't have any excess baggage anymore. We only carry what we need at this point in our lives. Everything we have. Everything we have is what we need. Well, I, that's not entirely true. I have things that I don't need that I like, but the, I have to be very selective on what I carry. So, yeah. And it's wonderful that every day, well, not totally open perhaps, 
But unlike when I lived in a, in a sticks and bricks, you know, I think, well, I've got to cut the lawn today. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there are things that just have to be done and done on a certain schedule and everything like that. Yeah. Other than creating YouTube videos, <laughs> There really isn't anything that has to be done on a certain schedule, and it, it's yeah. it's a carefree way of living. Uh, not not to exaggerate it beyond what it really is, but but that is true, and it's wonderful. Yeah, not every day is a rain, I say rainbows and unicorns, and even with the YouTube videos, we don't have to do these videos. I don't have to do them. I want to do them. I love talking to you guys. And I love connecting up. Yeah. You guys are my friends. And um, so to all the new subscribers, yeah, let's be friends. And uh, let's go on this journey together. And I want to hear from you in the comments what you think about things, if we provoke any thoughts, and how you feel about what we're talking about, any given subject. We've got some good subjects coming up, by the way. Yeah. We really do. And we, we tend to kind of focus on seniors because we are seniors. But that doesn't mean that you youngins should not listen too, because guess what? I used to be your age. I can remember being your age. Yeah. It goes very quickly. Well, not so quickly. Enjoy what you got, but you know, it won't go that fast. But it, at some point you go, oh my gosh, I'm 75 years old or I'm 70. Yeah. You know, so yeah, this is, so listen and learn about the senior and the elderly world because this is going to be your world. Nobody escapes death, do they? No, no. Yeah, it's the way it is. So, um, and then another thing that is really great is we can just pick up our home and move to a better climate whenever we feel like it. Mm. Our own climate control. <laughs> this is our own climate change, <laughs> yes. We're creating climate change. We just moved to another climate. And uh, soon, in about a month or so, we'll be moving to another climate. Yeah. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it made you think. And I really encourage you and implore you to look within your own mind and create your own future. Create what you want. Put it out there. It's amazing when you vision yourself doing something, everything falls into place and everything starts moving in that direction of where you have thought. Your thoughts create energy and it will move you in that direction. And God, the universe, however you want to look at the quantum world, it will start vibrating all those little thoughts and start moving them into action. I know it's kind of, it's a little bit, it's a little bit deep, isn't it? But so is everything. The whole world is deep, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And the mind is very deep, yes. So until tomorrow, everybody, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Go to minivanlee.com up there and check out um, my products. And an inventory, neck gaiters, arm gaiters, exercise videos, and there are links for gifts. If you want to just give me a gift and say, we like your videos and we want to keep you going. So, any last words, my I can't love? think of anything to, to, hand, uh, <laughs> uh, to enhance what you've talked about. The only thing when you were talking about with young people. Yeah. I would say the sooner you can begin doing the meditation and doing the visioning of what you what you what do you want to make of your life? Yeah. The better off you are. Yeah. The more life you have to live the way that you'd like to live it. Mm -hmm. Very good yes. stuff. Get it? Okay. We love you guys. Bye guys. Bye.